Profile Edit is a part of almost every website nowadays and we want to have that functionality to allow users to edit their profiles. First open settings.html which is the page we will use for the profile edit. Now, before putting this into the view, we need to create a route and a function inside the user controller. And here we want to simply return a view which is named profile. Now under the user folder, create a new view named profile.play.php and we want to extend the master template which is in this case admin great now let's see if it works So we are getting an error that view profile is not found. Let's take a look at the user controller function and we can see that we are trying to access the profile view instead of user.profile. And as you can see, this time it works good. And we also want to get rid of this sidebar menu, which is not even functional because we are not going to use it. Since we don't have the username field, we can simply remove it. Great. Now this part will be actually used to change the password and before changing the password, we want to make sure 
that user has his current password. So we are going to create a one more field for the current password. So this will be new password, new password confirmation. Great. In the name and email fields, we want to display current values. Great, as you can see, it's displaying the values here. Now we need to give the name to each input we are going to use. Now let's put all of these fields inside the form. And now we need to create one more route which will be accepting post information. And as you can see, we're getting an error that method user controller profile post doesn't exist. And that is because we need profile post function, but not the user profile post, which is the name. And as you can see this time, we're getting an output. Now to make sure that we are having access to all the past parameters, we're going to return the request fields. And as you can see, we have 
name, email, password, new password, and new password confirmation. Now, instead of only displaying these values, we want to save them for the user who requested that update. So we need to find the user over the out package and the user function. Now we want to set the username to be equals to request name. And we want to do the same for the email. And then we want to return back And as you can see, it's not updating and that is because we forgot to use the save function, which is going to save all the properties we set. And this time, as you can see, our name is updated to John Smith. But let's see what happens if in the email field we just pass a string. And as you can see, it's updated. Now, this is what we want to prevent using the request verification. So let's create a new request named user update. And in here we want to return true and under the rules we want to set first the name to be required and to be string. Now let's see what will happen when we try to set this to some string. And it is still working because we didn't pass the user update in here. And as you can see, now we are unable to enter anything else than the email. But when the user provides something that is not an email, we would like to display an error message here. And we need to do that inside the profile blade view. So first check if there are any errors And then we want to display the error message for each error.
And here you can see the error message that email must be a valid email address. Let's see what happens when we try to enter the name without any value. This time we can see an error that the name field is required and it has not been updated.